That is not good, man. You can see the flames shooting up higher and higher. As video cameras rolled and onlookers snapped pictures, the old empty hardware store, the building at the center of downtown La Crosse. Just sad. I'm just sad. Burned. It looked like a bomb had been dropped. No one was hurt, and except for a small beauty salon that occupied one corner of the 100-year-old building, it was, fortunately, vacant. But that old building in this small town is important. I grew up here. It make you sick? It breaks my heart. It, it was, it's just been a part of my life since I was a little girl. These people have memories of this old building, what's left of it. But they're more sad, more disappointed about what this building could have been than about what it was. Everyone there wanted a grocery store and agreed that they would support it. See, La Crosse has always had a grocery store of its own, but three weeks ago the old grocery store further up Main Street closed. Suddenly these people were forced to drive to Colfax, 65 miles round trip to get groceries. That's the closest place to go. So Janine Larkin and some others in town formed a committee. They needed to find the money and more importantly the location to open a new grocery store. So then we went in and looked at this building and it was perfect. The plan? Renovate the old hardware store and turn it into a grocery store. I was in Colfax to get groceries and I called my husband and said what do you want for dinner? And he said, you can mark the hardware off your list. And I said, why? Thinking maybe somebody had bought it. And he said, there are flames shooting 20 feet in the air. It's on fire. And now, a symbol of what La Crosse was and what it might be again is gone. I could just see that La Crosse could prosper again instead of decline, which is what it's been doing on the last few years. Well, the town's not going to wait around. They're going to get up this Saturday, dust themselves off, come down here and clean up this site. They're going to tear the building down and they hope eventually to actually build a grocery store right here. Reporting in La Crosse, McKay Allen, KXOY 4HD News.